I am a mom of twin toddler boys. I am facing the same issues. Uh, my toddler bites sometime and I researched a lot and I thought to post a video uh, why toddler bites. Uh, I hope this video would be really helpful for you uh, to understand the causes and how you can prevent it. Now just imagine you don't have teeth and suddenly you started teething. Uh, how weird and annoying this kind of feeling for you. Now just think about your child's perspective. Your toddler don't know how to use teeth so they do different kind of things. Sometimes they chew toys, sometimes they put their own finger in the mouth and no wonders if they would like to take the chunk out of you or your pets or other children. As a parent, it can be embarrassing and upsetting when you see your child hurt somebody. Let's figure it out why your toddler bites. If your toddler is in between 2 and 3, uh, biting is most common. They are teething as well and they look for relief. Because of teething, they can have oral pain or they can have stimulation and they are not able to communicate their feelings verbally. So they often get frustrated and they start biting at that time. But as an adult, and a parent you know that biting hurts but your child doesn't know so they want to explore that how it feels after biting and they understand that if they bite they will draw the attention sometimes they can be overtired or hungry first of all as a parent you have to figure out that why it is happening frequently does this biting behavior is a tantrum issue or does your toddler bites always the same person and is there a specific period of time when your toddler bites or your toddler is super hungry you can prevent uh, biting if you understand that what triggers your child and that's why they start biting so how you can calm down that situation you should have lot of patience and you need to understand that your toddler is growing and he is doing experiment with other things also and biting is one of them don't label your child a biter. Your negative comment hurt your child's uh, thoughts and sensitivity. And if you try to stop biting uh, because of negative comments, your toddler will do more often the same thing. Don't yell at your child in front of others. It would not prevent biting, but it can really upset your child and that situation can be occur again and again. Don't punish your child if he or she bites because your toddler is already struggling to understand that what happens after biting and moreover if you punish it would not help your child to understand the negative effect of biting instead he will be in pressure or he will show aggressive behavior. Since you are trying to teach your child social skills, patience, self-control so first of all you have to follow all those things and then you can teach your child to follow all those points. Some people think that biting back Back is a solution but don't do that because it's a kind of physical punishment and abusing don't bite your child back when your child bites your comment will be important to uh, make him understand so you can say that don't bite it hurts never say that we don't bite mommy or daddy or our friends it passes that message that your child can bite others if your child goes to daycare or you have caretaker at home uh, make sure when your child bites they are not laughing or they are not encouraging your toddler to bite more sometimes it can be funny for caretaker but that problem can, can raise a serious issue in future how to tackle that situation when your child bites if your child bites continuously always keep an eye on your child and as you feel that your child is going to bite uh, go and stop your child very nicely with patience and if your child bites don't try and force uh, other children to play with your child Console the bitey and make sure there is no infection. When you want to stop your child from biting, always tell your toddler in a very neutral tone that biting is not okay and it hurts. Once you find out that what are the trigger situation for your child, try to avoid those kind of situation and later on your child will understand gradually that we should not bite others. After biting, you need to teach him to apologize to others and if he or she is doing, it's a great way to understand that yes, biting hurts. If your child is under two biting is very common once they are around two and a half and three years old they will gradually understand and they will stop biting after three years also if they are doing the same behavior and you are a little bit worried about other children or people you need to talk to your pediatrician if you like this content and it would be helpful for you then please give me a thumbs up and click on subscribe button i will see you in my next video till then bye, -bye.